Welcome to the Daily Epiphany devotional here at St. George's. Let us begin in prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time, grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the first chapter of the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his companions went to the town of Capernaum. When the Sabbath day came, he went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with authority, quite unlike the teachers of religious law. Suddenly a man in the synagogue who was possessed by an evil spirit, began shouting, Why are you interfering with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know you are the Holy One of God. Jesus cut him short. Be quiet. Come out of the man, he ordered. At that... The evil spirit screamed, threw the man into a convulsion, and then came out of him. Amazement gripped the audience, and they began to discuss what happened. What sort of new teaching is this? They asked excitedly. It has such authority. Even evil spirits obey his orders. The news about Jesus spread quickly throughout the entire region of Galilee. Here ends the reading. Let's begin with a bit of context. Capernaum was about 20 miles from Nazareth. Bethsaida, the hometown of Philip, Peter, and Andrew, was nearby. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, also lived nearby. There is strong scriptural evidence that Zebedee's wife was Mary's sister. It appears that Jesus moved to Capernaum shortly after beginning his public ministry for a number of reasons. First of all, the residents of Nazareth attempted to throw him off the brow of a hill after he spoke in the synagogue there, as described in Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 30. Other reasons may have been more practical. Capernaum was larger and more important than Nazareth. Living on the Sea of Galilee gave Jesus a much shorter and easier way to travel to the small towns and communities that lined it. After all, his disciples were fishermen and had boats. And Capernaum was located on a strategic ancient highway known as the Via Maris. People from all over the ancient world passed through Capernaum every single day. This helped spread Jesus' message and the fame of his ministry. Capernaum and Galilee became the springboard Jesus needed that Nazareth could never provide. Most importantly, he moved to, to Capernaum to fulfill the scripture. 
Now, when he heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. Further, after leaving Nazareth, he came and took up residence in Capernaum, beside the sea, in the districts of Zebulun and Naphtali, so as to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, through Isaiah the prophet. That's from Matthew 4, 12 through 14. With all of that as a backdrop, let's look for a moment at today's passage. Jesus goes to the local synagogue on the Sabbath and begins, begins teaching because that's what rabbis do. And the people were amazed at his teaching because he spoke with authority, not like the teachers of religious law. In other words, the Pharisees. I think you know what I'm talking about. Jesus spoke about God, about who God really was, about what being in covenant with God really meant, about a God of grace, about a God of love. The opposite of what they had been hearing from the Pharisees who taught about all the laws that had to be kept to the letter or you were doomed. And the reaction was instant. The evil spirit began shouting, and I'm wondering if it wasn't the enraged among the crowd why are you interfering with us? Have you come to destroy us? Or put another way, if we ignore the law, we will be destroyed. But deep net down, they knew that he was the Holy One of God, and it terrified them. Jesus cast out the, the evil spirit. Everyone there, the audience, began to talk about what happened. Is this a new teaching, they asked? Yes. And the news about Jesus spread quickly throughout the entire region of Galilee. The news about Jesus and this new teaching, this new teaching of God's love and the good news that Jesus brought began to spread throughout the entire region of Galilee and eventually throughout the entire world. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessings to you.